It's beer o'clock on Relay Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Sainsbury's. This is part of their Sainsbury's Taste the Difference range and this is their Christmas Porter. It's a 500 milliliter bottle coming in at 5.2% ABV. Nice dark brown glass bottle. I like the label. It's very Christmassy. It's very nice looking. Uh, there's the bottle cap. I'm going to have to get in and there you go, there's the bottle cap. Right, so, without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Whoa, look at that, look at the smoke on the bottle opening. I miss, I oh, just bit my lip. <laughs> I miss that. I miss that. Oh, I open so many cans these days on the channel. So many cans. I like the smoke on the bottle opening. Do you know, after reviewing so many cans, it's almost like the, the bottle beer is now the minority. It is definitely now the minority. And I got a bit excited then. The old smoke on the bottle opening. It was like I was going to start reminiscing about some of the old cool characters on YouTube. Your Joe D's and, you know, and, and those wonderful people. A um, little bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Look at that smoke, he used to say. Um, yeah, I think we need more bottled beer. We definitely do. Two finger tan coloured head. Jet black beer in the glass. There's a look at the beer. It looks rather nice. Slow moving carbonation. Is there any light bleeding through? The, from where I'm looking, there's a little bit of light bleeding through. But it's not too much. What I would say is being a porter, it is, for me, my experience with porter is that they're slightly lighter in mouthfeel and body than stouts so you're gonna get that slight light bleed on the glass where not as much kind of malt added roasted malt added as you probably would expect if it was a stout but anyway, it's a Christmas porter. It's meant to be a porter. Let's get the aroma. Oh, it smells lovely. Wow. Wow, that smells good. Looks good as well. It smells really... A little bit of aniseed. It's roasty and toasty. Aniseed, licorice. A zesty orange peel. Oh, it's a spiced up porter. Ooh. Wow. Wow. I just wasn't expecting this. It, it smells like Christmas pudding. Oh. Cheers, everyone. Let's dive in. Lovely beer. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. Oh, wow. That is so complex. So complex. I'm thinking like gingerbread men and uh, chocolate porter with, with ginger in. Spicy and pep. 
peppery and nutty and biscuity and oh wow that is really delicious that is a really really delicious porter I mean I, I've had some I'll be completely honest with, with everybody on the channel about eight years ago uh, the guys over at Sainsbury's, when they first brought out their Taste the Difference um, range of beers, they contacted me and said, would you like to try some on, on YouTube? And I was like, yeah, yeah, you know, send them over. As I do now, still, of course, not Sainsbury's, but in general. If you generally contact me and offer to send me a beer, I'll accept a beer. But I, I found that when they first started bringing out these Taste the Difference beers, they were okay. They were like, kind of like your run-of-the-mill, um, very average beers. But they, they come along. I mean, if if this is the, the, the where we are now with Sainsbury's Taste the Difference, then they've come a long way. They've really come a long way with their beers. This has me thinking vanilla, yeah, gingerbread men, chocolate and roasted malt and just lovely Christmas pudding good mouth feel loads of vanilla loads of spices oh it's lovely fig and prunes and plums Lovely. That is, that is a lovely, lovely, lovely beer. I really, really like that. Christmas Porter. Tis the season to be jolly. Uh, this Christmas Porter is made using Challenger, Fuggles and Golding Hops with chocolate, malt and rolled oats and offers flavours of plum, raisin and nutmeg with a buttery afternoon. Enjoy... With your family and friends during the festive period, the porter is also the perfect drink to leave out for Santa on Christmas Eve with mince pies and carrots for his reindeer. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Brewed in Bedfordshire in England. Has this been produced by Wells and Youngs? The only brewery I know big enough in Bedfordshire, in fact, I think this is the only brewery in Bedfordshire, is the Eagle Brewery. If that has been brewed at the Eagle Brewery, then well done them. Well done them for producing a pretty fabulous Christmas porter. I'm going to rate it. I went into this beer review thinking this beer is probably just going to taste like another stout but with the word Christmas Porter written on it. How wrong was I? How wrong was I? There is so much going on with this beer. If you have a local Sainsbury's nearby, get yourself in there, give them a try and enjoy. Really enjoy. I like that. Christmas Porter and I'm going to rate it for me at 5.2% ABV I like that enough to give it a stone the crows 9 out of 10 so 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers